This is part 14 of Cloud Computing Tutorial. In this video, we'll wrap up this Cloud Computing Basics course. Cloud computing is everywhere. It's a big shift from the traditional way businesses think about IT resources and software solutions. Organizations of every type, size, and industry are using the cloud for a wide variety of use cases. It is the future. Whether you are a software engineer, quality engineer, business analyst, software architect, IT manager, or a CTO, that is chief technology officer, it has got something to offer to everyone. If you don't upgrade yourself and learn cloud computing, sooner or later, you are out of the game. In this course, we've covered several important cloud concepts, the state of information technology, before virtual machines, what is a virtual machine, what are containers, what is a cloud and why is it important, different types of clouds like private, public and hybrid, different types of cloud offerings, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service, benefits and risks of moving to a cloud. Cloud computing offers several benefits and we discuss them in detail in our previous videos in this series. Just like everything else, along with the benefits, cloud computing also has risks. We must know and consider these risks before moving to a cloud. Again, we discussed the risks of cloud computing in detail in our previous videos in this series. Data security is one of the very important risks you must consider. When you store your business, employees, and customer data in the cloud, you are placing your complete trust on the cloud service provider to secure and safeguard that data. I want to take this opportunity to clarify one potential point of confusion you may have on your mind. If you're thinking your applications and data are more secure in your own data center, you're almost certainly mistaken. Cloud service providers, at least the big reputable players, like Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services, and Google Cloud, for example, invest lots of resources and money to implement and improve cloud security. They're experts in this area. Their data centers are far more secure than our own data center. So in reality, by moving to the cloud, you're actually improving security, not reducing it. In addition to this, best practices like encryption, two-factor authentication, Auditing, reviewing, and rotating access keys and credentials can reduce the security risk to a great extent. Like everything else, cloud computing has benefits and risks. We are far enough into the cloud revolution, it has matured so much that these risks have been dealt with in many ways. Cloud is here to stay, and it has fundamentally changed the way businesses think about IT resources and software solutions. So this is a wrap of this course. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I did creating it. You can find all this course videos, slides, and text articles in sequence on our website prezimtech.com at this URL. Your feedback means a lot and is really, really important. If you have a couple of minutes, please provide your rating and valuable feedback on the reviews tab. Our next course is going to be Azure Tutorial for Beginners. Azure is the cloud computing service from Microsoft. In this course, we'll discuss everything you need to know to build, deploy, and scale applications using Microsoft Azure. If you have a specific concept or topic in mind that you want me to cover as part of this course, please leave it as a comment on this video and I will surely cover it. This is Venkat. Thank you for watching.